Okay, so this one is called Tragedy. And I didn't want to write it about men... Well, it's not that I didn't want to write it about mental health. It's that I wanted to change the um, story. I wanted to do something different. And one genre that I'm not great at is crime. I don't know why. I can think of some... Sorry. Mm. Sorry, hay fever's playing up uh, this last week. Um, so yeah, I don't know why I'm not good at writing crime. I can think of some... I, I can create really complex plots, but I can't create, like, um, I don't know, a crime. I don't know why. I think it's just because I'm not a criminal on the inside. I mean, the worst I've done is trespass on a property, and that's because I was taking photos. Because there was this time when I was really obsessed with um, dilapidate, dilapidated buildings, uh, because I thought there was beauty in that in the destruction of them. Uh, so yeah, that is the worst crime I've done. And obviously, stream movies illegally, but who hasn't done that? Um, so yeah, this story tragedy is my attempt at writing crime fiction. Enjoy. He walked up the stairs and was immediately welcomed by an array of greetings from his inferiors. Their leader shooed them away back to work and made herself available to his questions. Where did it happen? He began. Apartment 3B, sir, she replied. How many? Two, sir. She looked at her notes. A woman and most likely her young daughter, sir. Very tragic. Does forensics, does forensics have a TOD yet? Not a specific one, just that they've been there a couple of days already, she replied. He nodded and parted from her. He walked through the hallway towards the crime scene. The air was stiff with the ripening smell of rusted blood. He rubbed the disposable gloves he wore to force them to fit his hands less awkwardly. He inhaled the plastic aroma of his gloves to rid his nose of the pungent metallic smell that was trapped there. He walked through the open door and looked around. It was a tragedy, all right, he thought. The white shaggy carpet was reddened with the victim's blood. The woman lay face down with her arms splayed at the sides, most likely in an attempt to reach her daughter and comfort her. The girl was on her back, one arm stretched out while the other one rested on her stomach to staunch the blood flow. Her young, innocent eyes remained open. He knelt down near the body inside. His own child was probably not much older than she was. He lifted her hand off her abdomen and counted the fatal stab wounds in her chest. She was stabbed three times and her mother was stabbed eight times, several to her back from when she was she had already fallen. Death would not have taken long to come and claim their lives. He rose up as the pathologist walked into the lounge. She was carrying several items in evidence bag, which he handed to one of the uniformed officers standing by. She stood next to him, and together they looked over the corpses that lay in the middle of the room. Tragedy, isn't it? She said, permeating the silence. Mm, he replied. His voice was coarse, and his eyes somewhat misty. Yeah, like I said, it's my attempt at writing a crime fiction, and it's not that great. It's quite boring. It's realistic, I have to say, but it's boring. Um, yeah, that's inspired by all the detective shows I've watched, and I've watched a lot because that's my family's favourite genre. All pro we all watch detective programmes.